Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Radu Frazzi came out with a newer version, or I should say a different version, of his Colorpedia notebook where you organize all your colors from your different color mediums. Now, I did a very in-depth video on how to use this book because it is something totally, totally different than your typical um, color swatching, uh, you know, type of book that, you know, is out on Amazon and, and everywhere. There's, you know, a lot of different color chart books out there. This one is totally, totally different. And this was his first attempt at creating this book. And when I did the video, I had some suggestions for him and you guys put some suggestions in the comments. He read through all those comments, um, went through my email where I gave him some suggestions and he came out with this version. It's called the Colorpedia Notebook Extra Large Edition because this sometimes gets a little small and it's hard to write everything that you want um, to write. So he went back to the drawing board and he came out with this book. Now again, I, I will link that other video down in the description below where I go through exactly how to use this, um, this book. But essentially... What you do, and I did go through my Prismacolor, so I, I have some examples in here. There is a table of contents. So you specify what page, you know, you have what on. Then I tabbed everything, so I knew what section was what. You come to the actual color charts by set. So this section is what you typically do. You swatch out. Now this is my... Um, Polychromos. Oh yeah, not Prismacolors. I did all the Polychromos um, in this book. So it's, it's your typical swatching of what you do. Now, there was not enough room in here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Kind of hard for you to see. Um, to actually write the color name in. And I'm thinking in the bigger version, uh, there will be enough room. So I just went through, swatched out all my polychromos, okay? There is room for 48 on each page, okay? Then I did start the Prismacolor. So in the table of contents, I specified that my polychromo started on that page. My Prismacolor starts on page 31. So he has the page numbers down here. Then you take these colors, and again, I'm not going to go into real detail, um, but you take those colors and you go to the next section. This is color charts by color. So you go back through here, you pick out all your yellows. So these are my yellows from the Polychromos and the Prisma colors, and you color them in in here and you'll notice there's columns of numbers and then there's rows of letters. So for instance, this square is A1. Well, okay, now you go to the next section. This is, well, no, I, I take that back. You go after this page, you go to here. And here it tells you this is the yellows. So then there's a page number and the position. So it tells you exactly where your yellows are. I know that probably doesn't make sense right now, but again, go back and look at the other video. <laughs> and then there is a section for blending charts. I only did a couple here with my Prismacolor pencils. So I did this blend and I said what color numbers they were and I did this blend and what color numbers they were. Okay, another section is color palettes. 
So if you have, you know, you did a picture and you just loved those, say, blues, pinks, and purples together with maybe um, those green leaves or, you know, whatever, you can write in. Now, I didn't color them in. I just wrote a few down or maybe you're watching one of your favorite youtubers and you love for instance like christian everybody loves watching her and uh, she gives you the colors that she's using if you really love what she used in that particular picture this is a perfect place to jot them down and then last but not least there is a notes section now as you go through the colors here where you actually swatch them out there were a few things missing like for instance i thought it would have been nice to have one that specified just skin tones um so guess what he added in the new version okay so we go through all the colors here's blue and the identifier table and he leaves a couple of blues then we have turquoise and teal couple pages of those and we have our couple pages of greens now I'm doing this because I want to show you here he incorporated all on one page the browns grays and blacks now you know I don't know about you but there's quite a few brown colors right so I thought it would be nice to have browns on a separate page he did that also <laughs> so let's go ahead Let's look at the large version. So I'm going to zoom back out just a tad. Okay, so it starts out the same. And he has a, a gift for you, free coloring pages. All you do is you visit his website at radufrazi.com. And he has free files that you can download. So that is nice. Here we have the table of contents, which I also think is nice. So he has the thank you page. Then there is a how to use this notebook section. So that's what I went through and it was kind of confusing to me at first. And that's why I did that detailed video. Um, to say exactly how to use these. Then there is your table of contents where you specify what coloring medium is on what page. Then the color charts by set, which I showed you, color charts by number or by color. So now he has pages, separate pages for the yellow, orange, reds, pinks, purples, blues, turquoise and teal, green, a separate page for brown, gray, black. So he split these three out. And then he has one for skin tones. Then again, he has blending charts, color palettes, and notes. So uh, the vast majority of it is the same as the previous one, but in a bigger format. And then he did add a couple of extra things. He kind of split them out a little bit more for us. Here is the how to use this notebook section. And again, I'm not going to go into detail. Um, if you get this, you can read through it. And you can also refer to that video that I was talking about. Okay, so again, he goes into detail how to use this book. So for instance, let's say you're coloring a page with pencils. You're looking for a specific type of yellow. And, oh, I know I have that really pretty bright, um, kind of a golden yellow that I'd like to use, but what set is that in? Is it my polychromos? Is it, you know, you're just, you're not sure, you know, maybe it's my Black Widows. Um, so that's kind of the purpose of this book because you're going to have all your yellows of all your pencil sets together on one page. Does it take a while to do all this? Oh, yes. 
You're not going to sit down and do all this in one day. Um, it's going to be an ongoing project. It took me a while, you know, to go through my polychromos and put all them in. Um, but in the end, I think it, you know, it's really neat. Um, there is the blending charts, talks about that, talks about the color palettes, charts. And then here is your personal table of contents, just like the other book. But look how much extra room you have, which may not come into play so much for the table of contents. But once you get into the color charts themselves, this bigger format is awesome. So here's the color charts by set, which again is how you typically swatch out all of your coloring mediums. So again, you'll swatch it here. Now you have more room to write not just the number of the pencil or marker, but you have room to write the name. So some of us like just going by the number more. Some like going by the color name. For I'm a little bit different, I guess. For pencils, I like going by the color name. For markers, I look more at the number. <laughs> so... Yeah, <laughs> but you should be able to put both on each line now where there just wasn't enough room in the smaller version, unless you wrote really teeny. I write pretty small and I would have had kind of a hard time writing the color names in here, especially if it's a longer color name. I mean, if you had a color name that was just red, yeah, there'd be plenty of room for that, but there's a lot of longer color names that would be hard to write in that one. Plenty of room in here. And due to the larger size of the book, there is still room for 48 colors on each page. Okay, so he gives you lots of pages for color swatching. Now, I did not tab this book out yet, but you go through all the swatching and then you will eventually break it down by colors. Okay, so here's the color charts by color. So we're going to come into the yellow color chart and you can see again how much bigger and nicer this is. Then he starts, instead of on the next page, like in the smaller format, he actually starts the identifier table down at the bottom of this page. And then the identifier table goes on to page two. So again, much bigger format, much easier to see. Um, so you're gonna be able to follow this book, I think much easier than that book. We have the orange color charts. And then we go into the reds. We go into the pinks and then the purples, the blues, turquoise and teals. We go into the green colors. The brown, which again is on a separate page by itself now. The grays, which again is on a page by itself. And even black, because we all know that black is not necessarily black. You know, some of the colored pencil sets, the black is really dark and black. Some of them are not. Some of them look more like a dark gray. And this is particularly true in markers, right? Black is not necessarily black. And because these are single-sided, you can swatch out your alcohol markers in this book too. Um, you may want to have a separate book for that though, because um, maybe this would all be pencil, and then you'd have one for all your alcohol markers. So then we have the blacks. Then 
and I think this is a very nice addition, probably the best out of the book. We have a skin tones section. So again, maybe you want your nice uh, kind of a darker type of shade um, to do your shadows. And then you're looking for maybe a, a specific type of, you know, mid-tone and a lighter tone to do your, your coloring of skin. And so, yeah, I think this is going to come in really handy for those of you who do portrait coloring. Then again, blending charts. And again, look at all the room you have to do your blends and to write what colors that you used for that particular blend. Gives you a number of pages for that. And then you will get to the color palettes. So like in the other book, you may have certain colors that you like putting together. Now this is done a little bit differently than the previous book. You will color in each of these squares with the color palette that you like together. Now there's a total of 12 squares. I don't think most people would have more than 12 colors um, in a picture. Well, I shouldn't say that. You probably do. But um, in most cases, you probably would put down maybe just your specific colors um, that you like together. And then you have a ton of room here to write what pencil or marker that corresponds to that. So again, this larger format is really nice. Gives you a bunch of pages for color palettes. And then finally, you will get to your notes section, which again, larger format, you have a lot more room to write down notes. Maybe you want to jot down your favorite color YouTubers that you like to watch. Um, maybe a specific video that you want to go back and watch. Um, you know, things like that. So, a few pages for notes. And then a blank sheet at the back. Maybe you want to test a color, test a medium. So, there you go. There is the comparison between his new extra large edition. The thing that is nice about the smaller one is it's very travel friendly. You know, if you color on the go, um, maybe you're going to the doctor's office and you sit in the waiting room and you color. I know a lot of us do that. <laughs> this comes in handy for that. So both of these are available on Amazon. I will leave links down below in the description to both of these and then I will link that video explaining in detail how to use the books. Okay, if there are any questions, you know, after watching that other video, please leave them in the comments below and uh, if possible, I will answer them. Um, if I don't know the answer, then I will get back with Radu and get an answer from him. If you have any further suggestions for him, you can leave those in the comments below also. If he doesn't read the comments, I will forward them to him. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.